A few days ago, OpenAI released GPT-4 Omni. And in this video, we are going to test that new model versus the old GPT-4 Turbo model within youraiagent.com. OpenAI says they're comparable. They say it matches GPT-4 Turbo in performance across a bunch of benchmarks. But how does it compare for what we want it for? Generating SEO optimized articles, creating AI agent tasks for our business, because if it compares, there is no longer a need for GPT-4 Turbo. GPT-4 Omni is 50% cheaper for both input and output generations, and apparently it's better for non-English languages as well. So let's test it out. If this is the first time on the channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. You're going to enter your name and email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page. Your AI agent connects to various platforms depending on the AI tasks that you want to perform. We are going to be testing article generation. So we want to connect either a blogger website, medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. In this video, I'm going to set up the simplest integration, and that is Medium.com. But we have videos on this channel for all of the other platforms. Let's click Medium.com. It needs a name within your AI agent. Let's call it West GPT. And now I need an integration token. For that, go to your Medium settings and then click on Security and Apps. We are gonna scroll down and then it says integration tokens at the bottom. When you click on that, you're gonna to have to name this integration token. I'll call it your AI agent, click get token, and then copy that token. Go back into the settings, paste it in, and then click connect. There we go, it's gonna say your medium.com profile has been connected, very simple. Click okay. Next, we need some API keys. I'm going to click on this tab. We connect to multiple large language models, but we are testing GPT-4 Omni and GPT-4 Turbo, so we need the OpenAI secret key. For that, click on this hyperlink. It will take you to the developer platform. I'm gonna scroll down, click create new secret key, call it GPT-4 test, create secret key, copy this key, and then paste it into the input box. If you haven't used the developer platform of OpenAI yet, go to settings, billing. You need to add a valid payment method and then add credits to the account. Their API is a pay-as-you-go system. If you never want to run out of credits so that your AI agents never stop working as expected, you can turn auto recharge on and just turn it on to something like 10 bucks so you're never breaking the bank. Next, click subscription and then subscribe. Your AI agent is $9 per month. I'm trying to make AI agents as cheap as possible for you. And this includes unlimited connections, integrations, workflows, agent tasks. You can use this software to your heart's desire. After subscribing, it's gonna drop you onto the homepage. So right now we have six agent tasks. And I'm going to be adding some more in the future. We have LinkedIn in the pipeline, Instagram, newsletter GPT, and eventually customer agent bots as well. This is all going to be included under that one plan. But in this video, we're going to be testing the SEO optimized articles for GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-4 Omni. So for that, let's use the auto blogging feature. I'm going to click on this task. You need to select your connection. I have a bunch of connections, but we connected medium right here. Click this toggle to make it a draft or published. I'm gonna untoggle it to keep it draft. Then we need to choose our text model. So for the first article, let's make it GPT-4 Omni. For the image model, I'm gonna keep it at Dolly 3. For the language, I'm gonna keep it on English. This stuff doesn't matter for the purpose of the test. I wanna keep the text prompt and the image prompt at the default settings but you can add to this, remove it, really create the type of articles that you want. Remember, your AI agent is just a middleman. I'm using very basic prompts in the background just to guide the models of what we want it to do. 
but the rest is in your control and in your hands. We have a 3000 character limit for this text prompt, a 1000 character limit for the image prompt. So start testing with your custom prompts to get the output that you want. Next is the keyword list. So this auto blogging AI task will create a new article for every keyword that you put in this input box. If you put 500 keywords in this input box, it would eventually generate an article for all 500 of those keywords. If you select titles, it will generate an article for each of the titles that you input in this box. But let's just keep it on keywords. And I'm going to do a very simple keyword. Let's go real estate. I'm going to hit enter. We're going to use this keyword for both of the models. Then a brand new feature that was released this week called hyperlinks. I'm going to click on this. This feature is pretty cool. It will find text in your article and replace it with a hyperlink. So this is good for internal linking, external linking, affiliate links. It helps with domain authority, helps with indexing, and helps to get traffic to different parts of your business. So let's say every time the keyword real estate was shown in the text, I wanted it to go to my website, something like realtor.ca. So I could click add. I can add as many hyperlinks as I want for this workflow, and I could always edit it later once it is running. Let's just start with the one hyperlink for now, and then I'm going to click generate posts. It brings me to the workflows page. I'm going to rename this GPT-4 Omni, so we know which one is which. If I click on edit workflow, it brings up this pop-up, and I can change any of the settings that I want. At the bottom of this pop-up, you can see any error logs that are happening in your workflow so that we can fix them promptly. And if there were a bunch of keywords in this list, let's say 50 keywords, it would tell me when the next article is timed to be generated and the next keyword that it's writing an article for. All right, let's create a second workflow. I'm going to go to home, go back to auto blogging. This time I'm choosing GPT-4 Turbo. All the settings are going to be the same. And I know this doesn't affect the outcome of the article, but I'll keep everything identical. Okay, and I'll click add. Now generate posts and rename it GPT-4 Turbo. Once this says completed, I will go and check in Medium and we'll try to compare both of the outputs. Okay, here I am in Medium and these are both articles. The first thing I'm noticing is the word count. Just with the default settings, GPT-4 Omni created 692 words, where GPT-4 Turbo created only 580 words. GPT-4 Turbo is on the top, and the three minutes ago article is GPT-4 Omni. I'm going to give the point to GPT-4 Omni. I understand longer isn't always better but a lot of people do like longer articles. So in this case, GPT-4 Omni won. In terms of the title, I feel like GPT-4 Turbo went off the rails a bit for this keyword. The keyword was just real estate. It wasn't real estate investing. So that tells me it could have went in many different directions. I like that GPT-4 Omni stuck to the keyword. It's pretty much the exact same title, except this one's talking about the investing side of real estate. This one's up to you, but I'm going to give the point to GPT-4 Omni as well. All right, let's open both of these. First, I want you to notice that each time real estate is mentioned in the article, and in this intro, it's mentioned four times, the keyword is all hyperlinked to that realtor.ca website. So that feature is working as intended. Okay, the GPT-4 Omni article. It starts with a nice introductory paragraph, then it goes into the types of real estate. We have a second subheading of key concepts in real estate, and then a third subheading, essential processes in real estate transactions, and then the conclusion paragraph at the bottom. In the GPT-4 Turbo article, we have a shorter introductory paragraph. It went with the bullet list, I like these four articles. You know, I wish GPT-4 Omni had at least one bullet list in the article. That would have been nice to break it up, maybe somewhere in the middle. But I don't like that GPT-4 Turbo does all bullet lists. 
I notice a bunch of their articles has it for each section. Look, this is three times, four times, and it didn't separate the conclusion. So I don't know who I want to award the point for because GPT-4 Turbo did all bullet list, GPT-4 Omni did all text. Let's call this one a tie. Next, it's gonna be tough to see which of the images are better. I know the images are generated with DALI 3, but in the back end of your AI agent, one of the steps is writing a DALI prompt based on the article. So which one of these images better represents the text of the article? This is GPT-4 Turbo's prompt. And remember, the title is about real estate investing. This does look like a table of investors. You got a bunch of charts and graphs. They're all looking at a model city. Whereas this one is the basics of real estate. And it looks kind of like an infographic. I personally like this image better. I'm not really a fan of the realistic type images that Dolly 3 creates, but I guess this one is preference as well. We'll call it a tie. Next, I wanna talk about how many times the keyword is mentioned in the article. So our prompt in the background is saying to write an SEO optimized article around that specific keyword. So we want a good volume of the keyword throughout the article. Let's go ahead and count this. Find and replace real estate gives me 28 times in the text. And look at this, GPT-4 Turbo also has 28 times in the text, that's amazing. Remember that the GPT-4 Turbo article is about 100 words shorter than GPT-4 Omni. So this article might look more stuffed with the keyword, where this one might look more natural. I think I'm gonna give the edge to GPT-4 Omni in this case. All in all, I think they are very comparable, just like OpenAI is telling us. I've read them both. I don't see a major difference between the two. But the fact that it cost 50% less than GPT-4 Turbo makes it a no-brainer for me. I'm switching over all of my AI agent tasks to GPT-4 Omni to save on costs without a drop in performance. If you want to run the test for yourself, or create an AI agent for your business, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to build AI apps using the new GPT-4 Omni model, I've built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. There will be a link in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, Give it a watch and I'll see you in there later.